Let's draw the Lewis structure for CH2CHCH3. So when we see it written this way, when we see this compound written like this, it gives us a lot of information about the structure. We know we have one, two, three carbons. So let's put our three carbons in a chain. And because it's written this way, this carbon right here, that's going to have these two hydrogens on it. So let's put two hydrogens on the first carbon. And let's put them like this here. On the second carbon, we only have the one hydrogen. Then our third carbon here, we have three hydrogen atoms. So we've used all the carbons and the hydrogens. So let's put single bonds between the carbon atoms for now. And let's see how we're doing. The single bonds, they represent a pair of electrons. We have a pair of electrons here. We have a pair of electrons here for those single bonds. Each carbon needs to have four bonds. So this carbon right here has one, two, three, four bonds. That gives it an octet. And so this carbon here is okay. Carbon in the center, one, two, three. So we only have three bonds. So this doesn't have an octet. And same right here, we have one, two, three for this carbon. We can't add more bonds up here with hydrogen. So we're going to have to create a double bond. If we put a double bond right here between these two carbons, now this carbon right here, it has one, two, three, four. This carbon here has one, two, three, four. So it has an octet. So this would be the Lewis structure for CH2, CH, CH3. And if you count up all of the valence electrons, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, that's the same as the number of valence electrons we have for CH2, CH, CH3. So that's it. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for CH2, CH, CH3. This is called propene. Thanks for watching.